we are definitely at Storyland in New Hampshire, and it, it, it's going to be a sneezy trip. Very sneezy trip. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. We don't really know much about this small amusement park, and yeah, it should be fun. Let's check it out. We are here 20 minutes before opening, and there's already a line, just in case you're curious. By the way, it's kind of cool. They have their mascots out entertaining guests in line. And also they have a season pass holder line over here and a regular ticket line over here, which is a little bit longer. And for their parking lot, they actually have one parking lot on this side of the street and another parking lot on the other side of the street, right over there. And to get to it, they actually have a safety tunnel, apparently. Which is kind of a cool way to cross a street in safety. I'm going to show you what it looks like down here. Looks just like a, a tunnel. It's well lit down there. I'm seeing lights, so yeah. This is a fairly popular park. There's a huge line to get in. It's probably gonna keep going for a while. By the way, adult tickets cost $35.99 to get in here, so it is rather on the expense side, but I think it is one of the largest amusement parks in the area. All right, we're slowly moving up. It's kinda cool. They got a sign where it says they have a full service kennel for your pets and animals. You kind of enter through these cool houses. I like that. All right, our first ride of the day is gonna be Polar Express. We're headed to right there. They do have a Dunkin' Donuts here. That's pretty unusual. And I like the shape of the house for the Dunkin' Donuts. We're trying to make our way to the Polar Coaster because it is a coaster, so we assume it might have a long line later on in the day. We're cresting a hill and I see the Polar Coaster. It's right there. Looks like a fun little coaster on the hillside. This park is pretty whimsical with all the different like Storyland aspects of it, of all these, you know, fun children's stories. The Cuckoo Clockenspiel. Looks like this is a ride for it. And it looks like this is gonna go around in a circle like this. Although, I don't think this is open. There's sadly no poles there, like over here, so I don't think we're gonna get a chance to ride on this. First riders of the day on the coaster. And here's the entrance down here. I like this theming over here. Oh, there's a little penguin says you must be as tall as the top of my beak to ride on our polar coaster. It's pretty cute. Oh, look at this. The theming. I love it. Oh, wow. Have a nice day. So we're heading up to this observation deck now. See what this is all about. From what we could tell when we were on the ride, it's just a view of the ride. Yeah, just seems to be a cool little observation deck themed to like ice and stuff. It even has a cool little igloo that looks like you can get inside and have fun with. By the way, this is a fun coaster. It's like an alpine coaster, it just goes back and forth, you know? Uh, nothing too special, but it's still a fun coaster, especially with all this theming. We're now off to do the River Rapids ride. Uh, let us show you some of the scenery, though, on the way to it. This shop right here is a make your own Sunday shop. The Mac J. Egan is scoop. I think that's how you say it, at least. And it's make your own Sunday, but look, look how whimsical. This building is. I love it. They have a ride over here called Dutch Shoes, where you're actually in a wooden Dutch shoe, and then it just goes around in a circle. And here are what the shoes look like. So as we walk, you can actually see the only aquarium, or the first aquarium, one of the two, or it could be both, back here in the background uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, and so basically Storyland built their own aquarium on the side of the park and it has a couple like otters in it and other ocean animals. 
Here we are, Dr. Geyser's Remarkable Raft Ride. I like the name of that, that's a good name. Smile for the birdie. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Dr. Geyser's Firehouse. <laughs> Bad hawk. <laughs> Geese. <laughs> Bad geese. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> Mythical Water Square. So Crystal got way more wet than I did. I barely got wet. I got a spot there, spot here. Yeah. Oh yeah, her whole backside. It was a fun raft ride. I mean, you didn't get soaked on it, but well, uh, speak for yourself. I got a lot more wet than he did, but I, I, it was very whimsical and fun. Mm -hmm. That that part was amazing. I loved it. And it was a bit different. Like it wasn't so much about rapping. It was more about the geysers and other little things that I had. Mm -hmm. Back here is their bamboo shoots, which is a log flume ride. Uh, I think to like China, because I see some like pandas over there. But sadly, it is closed. It doesn't open till June 26, so we're a few weeks out from that. But it looks kind of fun and whimsical as well. As we walk to Roar Source, we're gonna pass this Rory's Fun Factory, which is I think an indoor like ball playground where you shoot balls at each other. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. You can see the indoor aspect right there with all like the ball shooters. Hey, Loopy! Oh, it's also a theater. Loopy Lab Theater and Play Area. So it looks like they have a splash pad over here on the right, a theme to like submarines and underwater. Seemed pretty interesting. Yeah, this seems like a fun splash pad. I don't think they have all the water features on right now. Because it looks like you might be able to squirt some guns inside the submarine up there. But uh, it does look pretty fun. Crystal's trying to get a little bit wet from this, uh, I don't know, whatever this is. It looks like a brain. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're here in the dinosaur area. They got some dinosaur benches. Very interesting. They even have like a dino bone play area where you dig up dino bones. It's kind of fun. First riders of the day on Dinosaur. Or no, this is Roarsaurus actually. Same thing almost. They got some naming structures here. B is for Brachiosaurus. C is for Coli, I can't pronounce that. But D is for, I can't pronounce that either. And the naming structures go on and on. I think they're probably gonna go through A through Z. That's kind of cool. It's a good learning experience. Can I get a big thumbs up? Can I get a big roar? Roar! Yeah! Okay, so the roar source was a roaring good time. 
It was a fun coaster. You lift hills super fast. It's a very fast ride non-stop throughout the whole journey. Yeah. It's very surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. And because it's a relatively newer wooden coaster, it's not one of the killer ones, so I like that part too. Mm -hmm. No, this is a fantastic coaster. Probably in the top 50 list, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's at least the top 50, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and the design of the coaster itself is just pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty good. And by the way, they do have a picture on board the ride. So if you want to get your picture, you can get it over here on the Roar Source. We're making our way to Dr. Geyser's uh, River Rapids ride again. So far it's 1026. We've gotten two rides on the Polar Express Coaster, two rides on the Roar Source, one ride on Dr. Geyser's River Rapids so far. So yeah, we feel pretty confident we're gonna do everything we want to in like the three hours we have here before we have to leave for our flight. They do have designated smoking sections, just in case you smoke. Ooh! A talking character. Is that a gopher? Yeah, that's a gopher. All day plants take food from the earth everywhere. At night, they return it as oxygen. Yeah. That train ride is like completely full. Wow. People like their trains here. Oh, look, a frog. We see a frog. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of cool. I think they show off all the sign painters here at the park. So Donna Howland did Dr. Geyser's ride. <laughs> So apparently there's an observation deck for the raft ride. Let's go up and check it out. This is pretty nice. Oh wow. Bird's eye view of the River Rapids ride. They also have restrooms up here as well. This is just a really fun park. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. We pre-purchased a souvenir bottle just because we thought we'd be thirsty for the day, but as we go up front to find it, look at the parking lot. It is very Apparently this rain machine feature on the River Rapids ride would usually shoot water from out from above the cloud, but for some reason it's turned off right now. I've seen a couple of these baby bungalows where you can come and change your little kid's butt diaper. This is Pixie Landing, and here's where we're picking up our drink cup. They have Dippin' Dots here. And I think that's, oh no, they have hot dogs, bacon cheeseburgers, Lipton Pier, and some other stuff. Look at this fun little fountain that they have. It's shaped like flowers. They even have a little tiny mushroom down there. Yeah, look at that, it's cool. So this is a souvenir cup that they have. Storyland, Glen, New Hampshire. Yeah, it's pretty dang adorable, actually. We'll probably hold on to this one afterwards. These are their four mascots, by the way. Humpty Dumpty, Dragon, Roar we don't know their I don't know their names. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty impressive wooden statue that they have here. A whole bunch of different animals. Definitely looks like it was made out of an old tree. So I found out the name of this character. It's Rory, which makes sense for Roarsaurus. And the dragon is called Duke. And this is where you can get a Storyland driver's license. Look at this little thing! This is really cool. It's like a little, oh my gosh, the wasp just went in his mouth. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, the wasp is in his mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know if you can hear, but they're actually talking. It's just very quiet. This is what the driver's license looks like that you can get. Free fun animatronic show. <laughs> Next up is their antique cars, and the entrance is over here. In front of each of their rides here, they have Humpty Dumpty's guide to say fun. And it tells you, you know, height, minimum to ride, capacity, and so on. Crossing! 
fishing. Oh, well, I've seen mostly chipmunk fishing at the chipmunk crossing. Mm -hmm. $3 fine for driving or riding on this bridge faster than a walk. Super jack service. <laughs> Watch for moose watching you. Is he watching us? I think he's watching us indeed. Beware, do not wake sleeping bear. Too late. All right, checking out more of their park here. We're basically done with the rides. We have one or two more rides I think we're gonna try and do, but now we're just checking out the park at a leisurely pace since we did all the big rides to start it off. Looks like they have a storage cupboard here, as well as a calming room. Sensory sensitive environment for those who need a break. You are now entering a storybook world. Follow this path and it will lead you well. Mother Goose. And there's the old woman in the shoe. Looks like they even have a pretty fun tree house over there. That's shaped like a tree. They got a talking tree over here. I love all the animatronics they have. Oh, they even gave him a name tag. His name is Tim. Oh yeah, there he is. Over here is the Three Bears house. The Three Bears have gone for a walk but left their door open so you may go in and look around. Oh, there's a button here. It looks like it plays audio. And it looks like there's stairs here. I'm feeling kind of small here for an adult, I'm not going to lie. Kind of cool though. Baby's bed, mama's bed, papa's bed. Granny's cottage in the woods. Oh no, you're not my grandmother, you're the mean old thing. I'm going right home to get my mother. Oh, that was cool. Looks like they have a petting zoo over here. At their schoolhouse. Oh, it says that you're not actually supposed to pet them. And it does show they all have automatic waterers. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> okay, pretty good. Here's the schoolhouse. Fun little place. Crystal's having way too much fun with his bell that you can pull. spider they have. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Going into the little dreamer section. Looks like they have some little shoes. Now, oh, one, two, buckle my shoes, shut the door, pick up six lamb straight, a big fat hen. Hmm. Little pie kids can play it. Well, they have a giant chair you can sit in that says Storyland 2021. Crystal didn't realize how far back the chair was, and she literally like fell. She just <laughs> flopped over and rolled backwards. <laughs> this is not a safe place for a baby. Not safe whatsoever. Bring him down from that tree. They have a pretty cool Pinocchio carved out of a tree. They actually have like a Mother Goose character in here that you can interact with. And she has her little goose pet on the side there. That's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like she reads books to the children on here. That is really cool. I love that character and she reads books. Like, that'd be a pretty fun job in my opinion, just reading books to children all day. Giant piano that doesn't appear to be working at the moment. May all your dreams come true. Giant pumpkin over here. It's pretty big. Looks like you can be inside of it and play it. This is their Alice in Wonderland section. They got the white rabbit over here. Some of the soldiers. And they also have their own teacup ride. Let me show it to you. So yeah, it's not a large ride, but I mean, that's fine. Looks kind of fun. Seems like they have more of a petting zoo over here. Maybe some chickens? Yes, I see some chickens. 
some big chickens. Right next door, it looks like they have some tiny black sheep. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. And then it looks like they've ducks, because <laughs> why not? These ducks seem pretty happy, though. Oh, Crystal found something, I think. Miss er, McGregor's garden. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Just then, Mr. McGregor saw it, and Peter began to run as fast as he could. This is definitely Peter Rabbit. And there's probably somewhere in here a bunny hiding underneath all this hay or straw, whatever it is. Oh wait, he's actually inside. I don't know if you can see him. He's like right down there. I don't think you can see him, sadly. Peter Rabbit. And another section, they have the three little pigs. A hay house, a stick house, and a brick house. Aww. Oh, here are the Billy Groach Gruff. They're in there. Looks like they do have a bridge that they can hang out up there if they chose to, but they're just chilling in there in the shade. Eating away. And we're moving on. I think this is Cinderella's castle area, maybe? Oh wait, no, I think that's it up there. Photo opportunity time. Horsey. Just having a lot of fun up there, it looks like. <laughs> castle and pumpkin coach are closed. 1230 to 130. Dang it. So the carriage ride is literally you're riding in a pumpkin carriage, which is pretty cool. It's a pumpkin, you know, coach ride. That's the name of it, so that's what it is. But yeah, sadly, we won't be able to do it because we have to leave here around 1 p.m. I think this is what it's going to look like coming up in this out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was expecting a horse. <laughs> the horse is just going straight out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want to do this ride so badly. <laughs> You know, these have two things because it says about one way ride up. Maybe the one coming down is still open. Yeah, okay, let, let's go look for that. Also, they usually have swan boat rides over here, but they're closed due to COVID. Yeah, not all the rides are open right now. Some open later in the season, and some are not open at all this season, just because of precautions that they're taking. Here goes the... the <laughs> Again. The horse is just staying dead straight. <laughs> We're walking up to the top to see if we can catch it on the way down because I need this carriage ride in my life right now. I need it. All right, we're in line for it now. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just pointing out that they're keeping the horses as realistic as possible. They have the eye blinders on the eyes over there. <laughs> This is probably the ride I'm looking forward to most in the day that I didn't know anything about starting off the day with. So I'm pretty excited for this carriage ride. One might say this is like the Tesla of carriage rides. <laughs> Guys, just a reminder, this is your one-way trip back to the Mariana. Please remain seated. One-way trip almost seems like a threat. <laughs> I can see the horses. <laughs> There's where the swan boats usually go. satisfied in life now that I've done that ride. There's all that and a bag of eggs. There's all it was cracked up to be. is amazing. We're walking back up the hill now because we wanted to get in line for the carriage ride just in case it closed because the downhill one was closed. But we're walking back up to do the castle 
which is apparently a Cinderella meet and greet. All right, we're going up to the castle. I just put two and two together. The carriage takes you to Cinderella Castle. I don't know why I didn't realize that before, but that's kind of cool. We just have to wait here for the other group to Okay. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you want a picture? They even have the glass slipper here. Very cool. Ooh, and Cinderella's crown. All right, so we had to do the carriage ride on the way down since there, there's no line here. There's there, there's no line. It's it's completely empty. So why not? We'll save ourselves the walk and go on my favorite ride of the park. <laughs> So yeah, this definitely makes us feel like we're in the Shrek carriage. Yeah, because even though the Shrek carriage is supposed to be like a onion carriage or something like that, or mm -hmm. a garlic carriage, that you know this is a pumpkin, it gives that same sort of internal feel. <laughs> so it looks like you can get a picture in a tiny pumpkin carriage over here. And they have a carousel over here on the left. But we are going over here to Buccaneer Bay, where they actually have a pirate ship. And it's not the type of pirate ship you usually think of at a theme park. This pirate ship is a thousand times better than all those other pirate ships that go back and forth. Let me show you. They have a fun little display case here, some pirate map, swords, and like loot. He doesn't introduce the captain. He has a special charm for the brainless among the crew. <laughs> All right, so we're in the boat. Looks like they have these wheel things for kids to turn. Yeah, it's kind of fun. All right, you ready to be sailed off? How about Captain Crunch? <laughs> Captain Hook? Yes, that's it. Captain Blackbeard? Captain no. Bluebeard? No. We're going into Captain Blackbeard's channel right now. Yeah, there he is. He's looking over his board. There he is. Oh, Watch out! Life is good. And now we have little duckies in the pond trying to swim as fast as they can. <laughs> On the right hand side, you'll see the wrecked ship. It only took There's the baby ducks up ahead. But I finally got my driver's license. With the alligator's chicken uh, tuck. They're the ones that jumped up to the back of the floor. I wonder what those are over there. Up in the air, make a fist, and go arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
but it's something. But it's it's not open. They have a fake little cantina here you can take your picture with. Little picture opportunity there. Here's a shooting gallery that they have. Oh, this is a pretty well themed one. Look at that water fountain that they got. Water feature. Whole bunch of other stuff. They got a rabbit in a pot back there, I think. This is not a bad shooting range. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, and there's their mining sluice that you can usually pay to like, you know, get gems out of a bag of dirt, but it's not running right now. Crystal got a pretzel with some beer cheese. Let's dig in. It's like a very gooey cheese. I like that. That's a really good pretzel and incredibly good beer cheese. Definitely get that when you're here. All right, so we're waiting for the train. It's gonna come from this direction, I believe. It's gonna wrap around the park. Should be fun. See the little kennel over there outside the railroad where they're keeping all the dogs and cats and chickens and whatever other animals are stored there. All right, so we're almost done here. We're gonna be heading out of the gift shop in a second. We gotta start heading to our flight, which is an hour and a half away over in Portland, Maine. Exiting through the gift shop. Let's try and find a park magnet that we can get. Crystal found a plushie of a dolphin? Shark. Okay. <laughs> they got some t-shirts here, Storyland, New Hampshire. This one's very minimalist. Crystal found an iron-on patch for Roar a source. So that's pretty cool. They have a whole bunch of candy here that says Storyland on it. And then what I think is really cool is they sell all their plushies here. Not many parks have their own IP and sell their own plushies. This is $16.99, $15.99 for the Roar Source one, Rory. They got the Mother Goose one here. Wow, they got a lot of plushies here. All right, we found their magnet section. I don't know which one we want. Probably this one, maybe. Huh. Ah. Ooh. This one's pretty good. They got all the characters on our raft ride. That's pretty fun. Wait, Chris just pointed something out. This is the four characters on it, but they are getting rid of the clown. In fact, I'm not seeing any of their merchandise with the clown on it, whereas they do have the clown out front. So corrected me. They don't have the clown out front. They only have him on the cup, maybe one or two other places. But for the most part, I think they're getting rid of that clown because he's kind of scary. Ooh, they got a whole bunch of sweets over here. A whole bunch of sweets. By the way, this parking lot is pretty dang full. People parking over there, and then we saw that there's so many cars over there, especially by the aquarium. Yeah, that parking lot is just crazy full. This place is jam-packed on the weekends. All right, so we are all done here at Storyland, and we had a good day. This is a fun yeah, park. I like this little park a lot. Mm -hmm. This is very 
much that family friendly. There's really luck here to the younger kids, but still, I mean, we're older and we enjoyed it a ton. Yeah, if you're a family, you can easily spend the whole day here and have something new to do every minute of the day. It, mm -hmm. It's a very fun park. Uh, even adults, I mean, we had fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, very fun park. Definitely add this to your to-do list because it has some very unique rides and attractions here. Yeah. Well, we might have to do this again in a few years just because it's a fun park. I would like that. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. Bye. By the way, be sure to like, subscribe for more content from us. We're going to a lot of places this summer, so stay tuned.